Home buying trends have shifted significantly amid the pandemic, and new buyers may be flocking to areas that are traditionally considered vacation destinations, according to a new report from Zillow. Good morning. I'm Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. Welcome to Mark in the Mornings. Having a little coffee with you. Uh, you know, it just seems logical that as telecommuting is becoming more and more prevalent, during the pandemic and may last for a long time after the pandemic that people can decide where in the country that they want to live. I have a good friend of mine who lives in Carmel, California, who tells me that sales in Carmel are way up because of people who live in Silicon Valley and are telecommuting and their jobs will continue to be telecommuting, that they'd rather live in Carmel than in uh, of San Jose or areas in the Silicon Valley. Uh, this is this is also true about San Francisco and other areas with a lot of high tech companies. As a matter of fact, I heard a report yesterday on TV that uh, if you live in San Francisco and you're telecommuting and you want to move to uh, another area that has a lower cost of living, that some of the employers in San Francisco are going to reduce your pay. Uh, how fair does that seem? So let's talk about the new report from Zillow about vacation areas are trending amid the pandemic. You know, when we look at the number of inquiries on the internet uh, of, for homes, the areas that are in vacation areas uh, are up over 50%. Now, that just seems logical. As millions of workers, of office workers, transition to telecommuting, many are reconsidering where they would like to live. So, vacation areas in the east, west, northwest, and south are all experiencing an uptick in home activity. Um, it's too early to tell how many of these new vacation town home buyers are moving permanently are planning to return to their present home after the pan pandemic. They themselves may not even know yet, but owning a second home in a traditional vacation area provides a lot of long-term flexibility. As one potential buyer, young woman, was recently quoted as saying, I love the beach and I would rather be here. Uh, I agree with that. She's a project mer uh, manager for a market research firm near Philadelphia who used to spend her summers vacationing in Ocean City. She says since she can, consist, can successfully work remotely, she wanted to live in a place where she can disconnect after work. She says she feels more relaxed near the water, and that's allowed me to have a better work-life balance while working from home. It also felt like a safe investment because if I eventually return to the city, I will still have a great rental property or vacation home. So we're going to be seeing more and more of this as the pandemic goes on. Uh, the Omaha area chamber, Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce is also working on getting people to move to Omaha because Omaha has a lower standard of living. It's a wonderfully safe place to live. Uh, very diverse, great restaurants. As I said, great place to live. And so we may see it, a lot of these telecommuters or some telecommuters moving from larger cities to Omaha, especially if they have any family uh, in the Omaha area. Thank you for watching my video. I invite you to go to my website at markrenner.com and, and browse. There's some interesting things on there. There's videos on what the real estate market is like right now how COVID-19 has affected our real estate market. Also on my website, you can get special buyer and seller reports. Just click on that link and I will email you or mail you whichever reports you want. There's reports for buyers, how to buy a house, sellers, what to do to get your house ready for sale, information on mortgages, builders, and other interesting things. I can mail them or email them to you because I have them in a digital format. So my, my uh, 
Personal contact information is streaming below. You can email me, mark at markrenner.com, and let me know what special reports you'd like, or just give me a phone call. Please feel free to call me if you'd like further explanation on any of my videos, or if you have any real estate questions at all. I simply see my mission as striving to be as helpful as I possibly can to area homeowners. I hope this video provides the information you need to be an informed homeowner. Have a great day and be safe.